This video is part of the iGEM Academy series, A Beginner's Guide. This tutorial explains how to carry out a transformation of competent E. coli cells. Competent E. coli cells are more susceptible to taking up plasma DNA. The process by which the E. coli, or any other cells, take up plasma DNA is called transformation. The following are required for this protocol. Competent E. coli cells, SOC medium, agar plates containing an appropriate antibiotic such as canamycin. To learn how to make the competent E. coli cells, SOC medium and agar plates, please click on the links provided. DNA plasmids. Plasmids for this video were obtained from an iGEM DNA distribution kit plate and distilled water are also required. Before proceeding with the protocol, make sure that the water bath is set to 42 degrees Celsius and the tubes are chilled on ice. The competent cells are thawed. To learn how to prepare competent cells, please click on the link provided. If the thawed cells are not used, they should be disposed of and not refrozen. Refreezing the cells will significantly reduce their competency. The plasmid must first be resuspended. The chosen plasmid is marked on the plate. A hole is made in the foil using a pipette tip. 10 microliters of distilled water is added to the plasmid. The solution is aspirated a few times in order to resuspend the plasmid. Once thawed, 50 microliters of competent cells per transformation is added to pre-chilled 2 milliliters Eppendorf tubes. The tubes are put back on ice. One microliter of the resuspended plasmid is added to each tube. One microliter of control DNA is now added into your control transformation tubes. The tubes are flicked gently to mix the contents. The cells are left to incubate on ice for 30 minutes. The cells are heat shocked in the water bath at 42 degrees Celsius for 60 seconds. The cells are then put back on ice for 5 minutes. 200 microliters of SOC medium is added to the cells following the heat shock process. The cells are then transferred to an incubator and incubated at 37 degrees Celsius for 2 hours with shaking. Under aseptic conditions, pipette 20 microliters and 200 microliters of the transformation onto appropriately labelled plates. The spreader is passed through the Bunsen burner flame and allowed to cool before being used to spread the cells on the agar plate. Finally, the plates are transferred to an incubator and the cells are allowed to grow overnight at 37 degrees Celsius. The plates should not be in the incubator for longer than 18 hours. The cells have now been transformed. PCR can be carried out in order to confirm part size. Glycerol stocks can be made with these cells and stored at minus 80 degrees Celsius. Thank you for watching. This video is brought to you by the TCD iGEM team 2015. To go directly to the next video in the series, A Beginner's Guide, please click on the link provided.